I thought, why don't I decorate my Christmas tree while I'm talking to you all? And Stormy's going to help us too. Okay, so let's begin. Gosh, uh, well, we left uh, the 17th. And we got back the 27th. I love this little guy. Stormy. Hey. She had to do a scratching post. Stormy. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes, we got back the 27th. And we stayed with my husband's mom and dad. And unfortunately, my. My husband's dad's father, who would be grandpa, is not doing so well, or we thought we were actually going to a funeral right when we get there. But as it turns out, good old grandpa is still doing great. I mean, he definitely still has some health issues, but nothing is stopping him. This is a cute ornament from one of my nieces. It's got their fingerprints on and so, you know, going to Indiana, knowing that we are most likely going to a funeral was tough. It's not something that we like to experience, of course, but we wanted to be there to support and be there for family. So uh, we spent quite a few days with grandpa. And at one point, He's like looking around and he's like just scoping his house right and I'm like grandpa is there something that you need can I get you something do you need help and he goes well I'm looking for something to trade and I said well what are you gonna trade he goes well I think I'm gonna trade my dog for you how does that sound Joe it's Joseph and Joseph said, what? He goes, yeah. I want to trade something for your wife. She's a, what do you say? Something like she's a, a real sweet gal or something like that. <laughs> so here is grandpa who's literally on his deathbed days prior to us getting there is now cracking jokes. So that was really a fun thing to experience, you know, that even in his 90, what, four years of age and almost, you know, passing away, is here cracking jokes. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh, we went to a thrift store and that's where I got this awesome skirt. I put my brooch on it, but I got this awesome skirt and I got a couple other things, which was fun. I love this pineapple, it's an antique. And uh, let's see, what else did we do? I did do a little photo shoot with my husband out in his family's backyard. And that was a lot of fun because I got to throw leaves and <laughs> It was so cold though, I was so glad I had gloves and Joseph didn't have gloves on and he was taking the photos and his hands were frozen. <laughs> Here's another antique. Unfortunately, a lot of these are peeling. This is a pine cone that I made when I was in elementary school. So I like to stick that in as well. And let's see, this is since I was a baby. I've had my mom had this she gave it to me a few years back uh, recently people have been buying me giraffe things because I love giraffes as also you know flamingos as well um, these are my grandma's actually they were my grandma's and these are very very old and delicate and I like to string them across last because it just seems easier Okay, uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, one of my sister-in-laws made this. Little acorn is so cute. Let's see, what else did we do? 
All my ornaments yeah um my pain has been really low like very minimal lately very excited about that although the the nasal you know whatever i have the uh sinus infection that i've been experiencing has just been awful i had a really bad episode here last night i messaged my doctor <laughs> oh my niece made this for me. Um, and it's pink and it glitters. Uh, so I was talking to my mom who actually is in town from Washington. She moved up to Washington a few months back. And so she, oh, I made this when I was probably in elementary school. Uh, so she came and visited us yesterday. And trying again because I got a phone call from my little elderly neighbor. He was asking to um, see if I could order him some groceries, which we do every week. Unfortunately, I was gone, so we had someone else to help him with his groceries. So he was just asking for some soda crackers. That man is 90, he'll be 91 in December. He was in the Marines. He's an amazing person. I've known him for 15 years. <laughs> Anyways, so my mom was here and I was talking to her Look at this giraffe, oh, he's so cute. I was talking to her about what's going on with my sinuses and just how miserable I've been and blah, blah, blah. And she told me that she actually had very serious uh, sinus infection thing years and years ago. And she actually had polyps in her sinus or nasal cavity. And so she said, you might wanna see if you can get an MRI to see if maybe you have polyps and that's what's causing you so much pain and discomfort and being so miserable, which I am. Right now I'm fine, knock on wood. So anyway, so I actually have my six month cancer screening, which will make it three years cancer free. And I was wondering if, since I'm already doing a CT scan, if I can just go ahead with an MRI that same day so I don't have to go back to the hospital because it's a pain having to go back there. And so I messaged my doctor last night if that was a possibility, so we'll see what she says. I'm really hoping she goes ahead with that because she knows that I've already had amoxicillin, a doxy, and then a steroid nasal spray and medicated eye drops to get rid of this thing and it's not going away. I still feel like I have blockage. So, but as of right now, it, it's fine. So I don't know, it, it like comes and goes, it's weird. So I would just like to have an MRI just to see for sure there's nothing there, hopefully. Oh, got a little little kitty. Uh, so anyways, that's what's going on. Um, I was looking at some of my, <laughs> I was looking at some of my, uh, you know, how on Facebook it gives you those memories and some of the posts that I was posting leading up to my surgery, which was almost three years ago now, uh, it just really puts things in perspective and it really shows me how far I've come from then. And uh, usually around this time of year, I, I get very sentimental. Sometimes I get very weepy and, um, you know, when I, when I first got my surgery about a year after, it was really easy for me to talk about it. But now when I talk about it, I get very emotional. Uh, it's almost like I'm reliving it again and it's more intense this time. I don't really know. Maybe there was just like adrenaline or didn't really sit in for me, you know, the first year, but now that some time has passed, maybe that's why it affects me. So I'm not sure. This is my beautiful mermaid. I love her so much. Let's see. We gotta have her sit. She's sitting with her like this. So, um, yeah, it was it was really great seeing family and some of my husband's friends who are my friends too, and I love their wives too, we get along. 
we give each other a good razzing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up putting uh, these decorations up without talking. So you're gonna see a little fast clip of me doing that and then I'll come back. All right, well, my tree is finished. Uh, I just need to get a tree skirt, which actually, I don't think I've ever owned one. I mean, I grew up with my parents having them and putting them below the Christmas tree, but I've never had one before. So I decided that I would get, guess what kind? Come on, really, you don't know? <laughs> well, maybe you don't, if you don't follow my Instagram account, But my stage name as a pinup girl is Flamingo Florence and I have no flamingo ornaments. So that's another thing I want to buy, <laughs> but I want to buy a flamingo tree skirt. So after that, my tree will be completed after, of course, we have gifts, which I don't have any. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have a gift actually. that I, I actually can put under the tree. Um, so I, I didn't talk about this yet. But the person that gave me that gift is no longer on this earth. He was a very dear friend of mine. His name is Carl and he was 75 years old and that may seem a little strange to some people that I would have a friend in that age group. But truth is I've had friends that are honestly like double my age and up. 
I used to be a CNA. I used to take care of elderly people and um, it wasn't unusual for me to have a friend like him. I've known Carl for a year and a half. We talked almost every single day. He was a very good friend of mine. He, in, he encouraged me. He had faith in me and he supported me in many different ways. And I'm really gonna miss him a lot. Uh, I had been texting him. He, well, he texted me when I got in to Indiana. He said, you know, I'm sure you arrived safely, but could you tell me? And I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yes, I'm safe, thank you. And, uh, you know, I sent him a few photos of what Joseph and I were doing. And then a couple days passed, oh, my heart's pounding. A couple days passed and I had texted him, you know, hey, this is what we're doing. And, you know, he just figured since I was with family, he didn't want to bother me. And he said, you know, just don't text, you know, or call or anything. It's okay. I know you're going to be busy and, you know, we can talk when you get home. I said, no, I want to talk to you and tell you what's going on. You know, you're my friend. So I waited a few days and I had messaged him and he read my message, but he never replied. And that's happened before, maybe like a day passed and we didn't get back to one another. But then I texted him again, again the next day. He, he did not read it and he did not respond. And I waited the next day after that and I said, Carl, I'm getting really worried, are you okay? And still nothing. <laughs> so we were out to lunch with um, one of our our um, nephews, and I just wrote Carl dot dot dot, and I just you know what I'm just gonna call him. So I called, and oh gosh, I have all this stuff in the way. So I called him and a woman answered and she said, hello. And I said, hi, I'm, I'm trying to reach Carl. Um, and she said, well, how do you know him? And I said, okay, kind of a strange question from this person, but I said, well, he's my friend. And then somebody took the phone and answered and this man said, hi, Karen. And it, it sounded just like Carl. And I said, Carl. And he said, no, this is his brother. And I said, is everything okay? I've been trying to reach Carl. And he said, I'm really sorry, Karen, but Carl passed away. So here I am like in the middle of a restaurant and trying to enjoy a meal with my nephew and I get this news and so I just lost it and I asked what happened and apparently just an issue with his heart but it just came out of nowhere and now I have to deal with not talking to somebody that I've talked to almost every day for a year and a half. <sighs> and not to mention, just a few weeks ago, he said, can I adopt you? And I said, I thought you already did. <sighs> he said he wanted to be my earthly father since I don't have one anymore. My father passed away eight years ago. <sighs> so as you can imagine, I'm crushed. I'm so devastated I am trying to I am trying to continue my life because I know that's what he would want he would want me to keep going um, I'm just really gonna miss him and his birthday is coming up in December it's just really hard so 
I've lost quite a few people from church that I was pretty close to <laughs> this year, but this, this death is the worst of them all for me because we were just so close. He was really like family. <laughs> so I guess, you know, this isn't really a side that I show very often or at all. But because this is my weekly vlog and I've sort of opened the chamber to my life to share with you guys because <sighs> I just want to show you the good, bad and ugly and awesome and great and sunshine and daisies and the not so sunshine days. But, <sighs> you know, I, I just cannot do a vlog without talking about my friend Carl because he was very special to me and he deserves to be known. And Carl was able to bless a lot of people because of our friendship. Not only me, but his friendship blessed so many other people. <sighs> and that's a blessing. So the only thing that's really keeping me going also is the fact that I know he's with Jesus. And he's at peace and no pain and happy as a bee. And I just really hope that his family is is going to take this as best as they can and not shut down and not live their life <sighs> to the fullest because that's not what Carl would want. He would want us all to just carry on and, and pursue. So if you are a praying person or somebody that likes to send good vibes to people, please do to his family. <sighs> Cause I'm sure they're really gonna need it. So, <sighs> um, as far as, you know, that gift, I don't know if I can open it. I don't know because that's the last thing he gave me and there won't be any more gifts from him. There's no more of him. <sighs> so I don't know if I can open it ever. I want to, I want to see what he got me, but I don't know if I can do it yet. Um, I have so many cards from him. We used to send cards all the time. <laughs> and I have a lot. So I think I'm going to read them all when I can. Because it's, it's just a little too hard at this moment. <laughs> but anyways, friends. Um, that's going to be the weekly vlog for now um maybe i'll end this with like a kitty video or something to make things a little bit more <laughs> uplifting but this is my life and i want to share it with you and so um anyways uh today i think is the second day of hanukkah uh maybe i'll do that i'll i'll do a video of me lighting my menorah that my dad gave me <laughs> it's a really cool one it's a big one <laughs> so Alright guys, this is going to be it for now, and um, I just want to say that I really am going to miss you, Carl. I'm really going to miss you. And you were such a blessing to my life, and I thank you for it. It looks good. Okay. All right. So I bought these last year and never got to use them. Whipping them out. Wait, no, maybe I did use them because there's blue ones. You did. Did I? Yeah. It is the second day of of what, babe? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Let's start over. No, leave it. <laughs> Whatever. So, I think I'm supposed to start on that side, but the wax is filled up, so. We're gonna be sacrilege to go this way. Go 
will come after me, my fellow Hebrews and Hebrews. All right, babe, do the, the oh, prayer. I, I don't know it. Well, you go to me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know it. How do you not know it? I, 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 because I don't. Happy second day of Hanukkah, everybody.